Yo, what's good, y'all? Um, as y'all can see for the title of the video, and I'm literally gonna be giving y'all like this is one of the most best free game videos I can probably say I'm finna put out this year because I'm literally giving y'all step by step, play by play, how to start and like really the whole startup of how to build your brand and how to at least get you know what i'm saying started and going and get all the um breath for y'all saying if y'all heard the sound just now bro i promise you that's my chair because literally literally i back up right now it gets to the wall y'all hear that okay don't try me in the comments but anyway um yeah finna give y'all set the play-by-play -play, literally step by step how to start your brand in 2024 and now you have no excuses bro i've given y'all how to find a manufacturer i've given you how to create mock-ups how to create tech packs how to create a shopify website i've literally done every like little step by step giving y'all the stepping stones of how to build your brand and whatnot now i'm finna just give y'all the whole list like the whole little rundown and what steps you're gonna take to build your brand so now you really have no excuse you watch my videos now you literally have to like lock in like after you watch this video do your research um and just like just do it honestly that's all i can say but anyway i just before the video really start though i really do want to say i thank and i appreciate y'all so much for 280 sub two subscribers at the time me recording this video it'll be somewhere on the screen but yeah and also i have um y'all have been dming me like crazy um on my other videos talking about um talking about send me the different stuff i said to send y'all i would send y'all like the shopify themes and stuff like that and the tech packs the tech pack um not the tech pack the mock-up packs and all that and what i did was everybody that dm me i obviously emailed them and for but gmail started playing with my account and all that and they were saying i couldn't really email y'all no more so i ended up just making a complete discord link will be down in the description and right now it's at 61 members and literally this is the third day like today as i'm recording this on a monday or not nah, tuesday this is literally like the third or fourth day i've had since i've made the um since i made the discord and we're already at 61 members so tap in bro link in the description all i can say is literally it'll be on the screen somewhere there's so much free game in that discord that you quite literally are not going to be able to find anywhere else quite literally for free you would probably be paying and speaking of that i'm not gonna lie to y'all i love all of y'all and i appreciate y'all support so much this is why i made the discord in the first place but broski when i hit around 100 close to 100 uh, members i'm not gonna lie to y'all i will start charging you after that point i'm anybody before the 100 i'm i'm gonna work things out where y'all don't have to pay and y'all can still have access to the server and everything free of charge and all that but anybody after i'm not too set on the price yeah i'm not gonna charge y'all arm and a leg for it. i'm probably gonna charge y'all like 10 15 dollars a month or however the plans work i'm not really i haven't looked at everything yet and i haven't gotten everything situated but when it's everything is situated i will let y'all know and y'all will obviously see by the time it's ready and all that but yeah so join up now join the community man i'm getting everybody more active in the chats and do not join if you're just here to take the sauce and run with it literally you will serve it will serve you no purpose if you join the community and you literally don't talk to anybody don't ask for no opinions no advice no suggestions none of that it's little if you just join to take sauce and run with it and it literally will serve you no purpose because you don't have any other second opinions or any other advice or different outlooks on what you're doing with the sauce like it won't serve you no purpose if you're just trying to take it and run and think on it think of like what you're going to do with it on your own i promise you just be active in the community and i'm not gonna lie if y'all are not active i will kick y'all from the community so i'm not playing around with y'all i want this to really be a dedicated community of brand owners and content creators like myself so we can all help each other win and all support each other and you know bounce ideas off of each other and whatnot and hey man just just game in general but hey
join the join the discord link in the description will not say it again but i love and appreciate y'all so much and yeah let's just get straight into it man first things first obviously for your brand you literally first two things like first two steps you literally want to make a brand name and you want to make a brand logo like the whole this whole this whole thing is a first step the whole first step is literally your brand identity who your brand is and what it stands for and represents because obviously you cannot make a literal business without a name or a logo or like literally you need a name or a logo bare minimum like if you don't have a brand's mission or a brand statement, you can literally just have a name and a logo. Cool. Push it out. But you have to think of a name and a logo so that people are able to recognize and um, identify your brand. Like like Hellstar, you literally see you just know even sometimes when they don't have a T that says Hellstar on it, you literally know by the, the, their logo or a graphic on their T's or their pieces. You literally can just tell by looking or like um, gallery department or um essentials um project capri um cozy like literally any any brand literally has to trademark their name literally just because you have to be recognizable like it's it's literally self-explanatory you cannot make a brand and then then not have a name or a logo to it because what who are you it's like <laughs> It's like it's like you walking around with a blank hoodie on like no um no no logos no names on there no tags no nothing it's just kind of there and like you don't really when people ask oh where's that um brand from you don't really have that answer because you're not you know what i'm saying you you get it you get it and obviously the next step is for identifying um your brand identity is finding your target audience and finding a niche finding a target audience and a niche can be a little bit difficult but not really it's more of an easy step depending on um if you depending on the research you do on your own because obviously it's not that difficult to find a target audience but finding a niche and sticking to that niche can be difficult because there are a lot of different niches and target audiences for you like my target audience is not going to be the same as your brand's target audience like i literally live in atlanta and um i obviously don't my target audience is a little bit of atlanta style but not really like the whole skinny jeans and all that nah that's not really my style i'm more like I'm more for like overweight hoodies baggy jeans stuff like that you know what i'm saying so it's all up to you do different research on different um places not places like you know like state styles like you know new york style fashion atlanta style fashion and stuff like that you know just do your own research on that and also on influencers and celebrities find their like target audiences and try to appeal to them if that's your style and that that's what you're going for but yeah and obviously you want to going back to what i said earlier it would be good if you had a brand story or like a brand um or like a brand message because you are when you do that extra step it's optional obviously the other stuff is mandatory but this is optional but if you do this optional step you are categorizing yourself in a different lane than most other clothing brand owners are clothing brands do because not a lot of brands specifically do have a place dedicated where they do um their message or like their story on why they do what they do but most of some brands do i will say it's like roughly kind of like 60 40 the 40 being like they have um brand messages or brand stories it just depends on what brand you're talking about but yeah so have that so you can set yourself out from the competition and so you can all it also makes it also helps build trust with your customers and also establishes that kind of like relationship early with the customers because like they can obviously put more trust and faith into your website and your brand because you do it for um you have a reason behind what you're doing and you're not just in it for a cash grab and by the way i meant to say that earlier if you're just in this for a cash grab 
and you want to get rich quick scheme and all that you see everybody else doing clothing brands getting money in 30 minutes hours days like this amount of money please do not just click off this video it's this literally is not for you if you're not passionate about making clothes if you're not passionate about fashion streetwear all that and you really want to make a brand like a future brand that's like up there with like um denim tears gallery department um true religion like all that like just click off the video this is not for you i'm teaching people that really want to really start building a business and not just their brand you know what i'm saying but anyway next step is after you have your little brand identity you want to start really like doing research on marketing and researching on different um going back to your research on influencers and um overall you want to just also look at other clothing brands and how they market and how they present their pieces and what pieces you're trying to what overall pieces you're trying to not replicate but like kind of kind of um i don't know what i'm trying to say but like like what kind of style you're going for like you want to make graphic tees you want to make hoodies you want to make sweatpants you want to make jeans you want to make shoes you want to make belts hats etc experiment and look at and analyze different brands and what pieces they make and keep in mind like what pieces they're making and like what type of styles they're using like is it dtg is it screen print is it rhinestone but yeah like keep that in mind for when you're um when you're like doing your little research and whatnot hey yo i got a bone to pick with you yeah you buddy yeah like i just like i just had to think about it like you really watching my video right now you probably like 50 percent of the way watching it and and you ain't subscribed like how that work like 90 percent of y'all right here are not even subscribed to my channel but y'all watch my videos all the time y'all be tuned in y'all be wanting the free game oh he dropped he teaching me how to do this he teaching me how to do that subscribing is literally free little bro liking the video is free bro that's free game for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting y'all on free game. Y'all give me free game back. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead and click that subscribe button, bro. Like, what is you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, anyway, bro, back to the video, man. I don't know what you got going on. Okay, y'all. Uh, so after you, like, research what type of pieces you want to do and all of that, and you, um, and you're aware of, like, what pieces you're going for and all that, you can either find a designer like on Instagram or um, you can join my community. And I have a list full of manufact designers that some big clothing brands use. And yeah, that's me plugging my discord. Just join the discord, bro. I'm telling you, it's too much sauce in there for me not to want y'all to join because literally it's an all in one package. Like it's crazy. But anyway, yeah, find a designer or you can design on your own. And the only thing I would say, the pros and the pros and cons would be obviously you design your own. Designing on your own is very is seem as more creative. And obviously you're doing it by yourself. You know, you don't have to rely on someone else's time. And but you are on your own time and that can be very time consuming. And it might be a little bit stressful depending on what type of situation you're in and with a designer you know you're also waiting on them but you know what i'm saying if you have a really great designer obviously it will always come out really nice and you can immediately use that design for your uh, mock-ups which will be the next step is making a mock-up and tech packs and i have videos on how to make those on uh, illustrator procreate and i will be dropping a procreate updated video for mock-ups soon i'd say like maybe I'm not going to give you all a date because every time I say that, I end up not giving you all that on time. But, yeah, just know it's coming soon. And I'm going to give you all an updated video on Procreate because I've learned a lot literally since I've made that video. But, yeah. So make mock-ups, make um, tech packs. And then the next step would be finding a manufacturer. And I also have a video on that. Literally giving you all a free game outside of this video, too. Like... I should just make a whole like playlist of 
how to clothing brand <laughs> like or clothing brand 101 <laughs> just put all the videos related to a clothing brand in there but anyway man um yeah after you make your mock-ups and you make your tech packs you want to find a manufacturer a good quality manufacturer and what you're gonna look for with your manufacturer starting out i would honestly say get the best quality manufacturer you can find with a very low moq and if you're not aware of what an moq is that it means minimum order quantity and what a minimum order quantity is is literally in a name you literally have to use your brain it's the minimum amount of pieces that you are able to order from that set manufacturer like it could be 20 it could be 30 it could be 40 50 60 70 100 etc it could literally be anything that the manufacturer wants to set it to and sometimes you would be able to find what moq a manufacturer requests or is looking for before you actually message them you just have to do really like extensive research on that um company in alibaba because you got to look at the company's profile and sometimes it'll say moq like and then it'll give you a, a number for the moq so you don't have to ask them and then already be in that negotiating phase and whatnot and yeah but remember there is nothing wrong with straight up deading a conversation with a manufacturer not the one that you're working with but like if you don't want to work with them anymore obviously you can leave that conversation and you can be like i found something better or i found another manufacturer that's doing this for me that you're not able to do or i found a better minimum order quantity blah 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 but also you could use that as leverage to negotiate even further with that manufacturer to possibly get your um pricing down and whatnot yes yeah but after you get manufacturer make your mock-ups tech packs all that you want to start ordering your samples for your pieces so if you're making shirts you want to order shirts making hoodies making hats jeans etc get those samples in and roughly this will be the most time consuming part because manufacturers do take a long time especially if you're with a china manufacturer but they do make good quality i will say that it is worth the wait but it'll take roughly about three four weeks sometimes your manufacturer will surprise you hit you with a two week or a week and a half depending on how you locked in you and your manufacturer are he might just get you on time or they might get you on time you know what i'm saying but yeah so after that you get your samples in you want to promote and market the life out of your samples make tiktoks make ig reels boost your ig post boost your ig reels um make a facebook or make a meta um business account and then get the uh, business manager app i think i will um i will also make a marketing section in my discord there's not one in there right now that's like really extensive so i will make that too so yeah because marketing honestly is the make or break with your brand because your piece can be one of the hardest pieces out but if your marketing is not there for the um, product you will not get push any sales you will not get any traction off of it it's simple as that marketing literally is the make or break for your drop and your brand so you gotta learn how to market you gotta learn how to push a product out there you got to learn how to really communicate with people that you might see in person or communicate over instagram or tiktok or snapchat whatever you want to promote it on and do not be afraid to spend money on ads i'm not saying spend 500 dollars on ads i'm saying spend a reasonable amount because you are just starting spend like 20 50 30 45 60 if you balling spend 100 but make sure you have everything good on that post because you don't want to boost a post or you want to promote um, a product that is not good enough to be promoted. Make sure you have the best quality piece that you're able to put out before you like really pay for ads and pay for um, promos and stuff like that. And yeah. Also, with paying for um, ads and promos, um, also do not be afraid to ship your um to ship your pieces out to influencers even if you have one you would have to obviously communicate with that with them and be lucky enough to have them ship it back to you after they take flicks in it or take videos in it whatever to use for promo for your brand but yeah 
just ship it out to influencers because they have the bigger audiences that you will need for your um, drop that will bring in more customers and bring in more potential new customers and build that fan base and community up that you need so yeah don't be afraid to hit up an influencer and just send them some pieces and yeah because honestly that will be the best move especially for a starter because you're already like putting yourself out there and if people genuinely rock with the piece and even if somebody don't rock with the piece if the person that says they rock with the piece like the influencer rocks with the piece bro nine times out of ten their community is going to gravitate towards you because oh he likes it um i look up to him he inspires me blah 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 um i'm gonna buy this too you know what i'm saying and you already having potential customers and the community building up slowly and slowly just because you send it to one influencer or multiple influencers but yeah i feel like that's lucky the best move you can do besides paying for ads because promos there it's really a if i have paid for promos before and i'm in a stage right now where i might take a little bit time off of um dropping from my brand a little bit i'm not really too sure yet but yeah i'm just gonna do my best to help build y'all's brands up for now and get more pieces made and honestly I'm probably going to take maybe a month or two off, month and a half off, but I'm going to really lock back in on my craft and I'm going to come back crazy. Like, I'm going to come back crazy. Next drop, that's really the one. Like, I'm caught it right now. But anyway, yeah. So, after y'all do all of that, you know what I'm saying? Time for the drop at that point. You've promoted enough. You've. Oh, build your website. Build your website. Got a video on that. Build your website. Build your Shopify website. Open a Shopify account. And you know what I'm saying open it up under your um, brand name and set all of your Shopify settings up and whatnot. Set up your Shopify website. Make sure it looks really clean and professional. And make sure it's, you know what I'm saying, easy to maneuver and navigate through for your customers. You never want a complicated Shopify website. Just, just a waste of time. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, after that, you've quite literally done all the steps is, um you've quite literally done everything beginning wise it's time for the drop you know what i'm saying you've promoted you've built your shopify website you've contacted your manufacturer you're getting ready to have the boat made and then you drop and then we'll see how it does from there honestly it could do really good or it could do pretty uh pretty all right or it could do bad and i want you and watch out to remember this does not matter how good your drop does or how bad your drop does or how okay your drop does you had a drop and it like and the fact that you're able to do that and be in that situation is amazing and regardless of how it, how it comes and you have to take that as a learning lesson and you have to take that as i'm saying more experience for you and just learn better and move different for next time and don't get discouraged easily and i know it can be hard especially if you didn't do so good on a drop before but it's perfectly fine to do pretty bad on a drop especially if you're just starting you're literally just learning the game so just continue to strive to do better towards going going towards the future and things of that nature but yeah after that you literally after dropping and all that getting the money you want to make sure you use the money that um you got from your customers if you okay let me explain this before i get before i go into um before i end this video off for real but there are two types of um ways you can do your orders in the beginning i would suggest using pre-made if you're able to get your bulk like if you have the money to get, be buying your books because pre-order can be terrible like it can be terrible especially just starting because you're still navigating shopify you're still learning everything so a main the main crucial thing that's terrible about pre-orders is because there's this thing called a chargeback and you could literally have 150 orders 100 orders 75 orders if literally two or more people charge back and the more is worse the, the more people charge back the worse it gets shopify will hold your money for future payments and they will deduct money out of um the the total like overall payment that you got from the drop so 
be very like transparent with communicating to your customers and with shipping times with production times with the specifics of the um hoodie and literally everything like be 100 percent transparent everything 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 because you don't want chargebacks at all like because if you do the just the more you get the worse it becomes and the bigger the problem it gets so yeah so i suggest getting pre-made like doing your drops pre-made if you're able to if not pre-order is perfectly fine just there's more there's a lot more risk with pre-orders versus pre-mades because even though the main pre-made issue is like you getting 100 um hoodies or 100 shirts and you only sell like 30 that's the only issue because you have all that inventory left that you didn't sell and you that you paid for that's the main issue but there are so much more cons and negatives to having pre-orders going wrong versus a pre-made because you're literally losing money from the pre-order and future money from um drops in the future so yeah but yeah after you do that and you buy uh, after you drop and all that if you do a pre-order you will pay you will get the money that everyone paid from their whatever you dropped and you will send that um in payment plans never pay in full to any manufacturer unless you genuinely established a really strong connection over time not just like a beginning manufacturer that did really good over time you can start paying more for them but especially as a beginner you want to pay in payment plans of four which is what i do for whenever i get a sample or whenever i get pieces made especially like with your the first few months of y'all establishing that business relationship so yeah you want to make sure that you want to pay in payment plans and never in full never because they can easily just run off with your money and you'll never hear from them again and you're never going to see them again because they're all the way out in china and never use a pakistan manufacturer you literally are setting yourself up for failure in the future and now if you use a pakistan manufacturer always do your best to get a china manufacturer because they make the best quality even though it may take longer than a pakistan manufacturer don't get on pakistan manufacturers don't get on ig uh, manufacturers they're all the same just get china manufacturers they make the best quality literally 90 to 100 percent of the things that you own are from china and you like the things that you own so go with china <laughs> yeah yeah but anyway y'all uh, after you get your book you want to send that out and also keep a few pieces so you can also send out some more influencers and more um people like you know what i'm saying you can if you got motion get rappers in it get athletes in it get whoever bigger than you in it with a bigger audience and communicate with them on what you want to do for your drop and what you want them to do with the clothes you know what i'm saying but after that that quite literally is the first step to success for your brand and the rest is up to you man you have you have the method you have the cycle that you can go in you can always rewatch this video if you ever need more clarification or questions or if you need a question answered but if y'all want to directly contact me i always will accept dms from my main account right here do not dm my business uh, my brand account don't do that but um yeah and also join the discord like i said before i start charging y'all after 100 members or close to 100 members stuff like that but yeah hope y'all enjoyed the video man i uh, wish y'all nothing but success because y'all show me success and love every day and i appreciate the support that y'all been showing me man 2024 really is that year like i'm really starting to see it unfold and i appreciate y'all so much hope you're having a great day hope y'all doing well physically mentally emotionally spiritually and financially and you know what i'm saying get right with god you know what I'm saying? If you don't know, you know now. You know what I'm saying? And I hope y'all having a great day and a great week. And this video probably not going to come out Tuesday because I got to literally go to work in like 10 minutes. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll probably push the video out Wednesday or Thursday. But I love y'all so much, man. And I appreciate y'all so much. Join the Discord. If you got any questions, DM me on Discord or DM me on um, IG. But yeah, join the community, man, for a cost. But I hope y'all have a great day, man. And I'll catch y'all in the next video.